Hi, my name is Trissa, and this is day six in the home stretch of the Movie Night Pajama Sew Along. So go ahead and grab your pants and we'll get started. Before you cut your elastic, make sure you stretch it all the way around, exercise it a little bit before you cut it. That way if there's any stretching, it'll happen before you cut and then it won't grow afterwards. Or cut it, stretch it out, and then recut it again to make sure it's the correct length. So once you have your elastic, go ahead and grab your pants. A few things. The children's version uses 3 fourths inch elastic. The women's uses 1 inch elastic and the men's uses 1 and 1 half inch elastic. All of the instructions will essentially be the same, however, when you fold over to make the casing, it'll be slightly different for each version. Now with the either your edge surged or it folded over by a fourth of an inch, we are now going to create the casing. And remember when you actually sew it in place, make sure you are leaving an opening to insert the elastic in the back. I lost my little, my little tool that tells me how far to measure stuff. I'm pretty sure my toddler might have taken it or hidden it somewhere. So I'm going to use my little square instead. So again, since I'm doing the men's version, I am going to be folding it down 1.75 inches for the men's version. Now with that pinned or clipped, make sh go ahead and sew in your casing um, either along really close to this surged edge or close to the folded edge if you folded it over and um, yeah, so go ahead and do that. Make sure you leave uh, an opening one inch for the children's version, 1.75 for the men's version, and one and a quarter for the women's version. That way we can insert our elastic and go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. Now with your casing made, you should have a little opening somewhere in the back. Go ahead and take your elastic that should have been previously stretched and cut to the right side. I like to use a big safety pin to help feed my elastic through and go ahead and do that.
You want to make sure that your elastic is not getting twisted. You can fix all of this later to make sure it's all even and straight. I just don't want it to be twisted at all before I um, before I sew my elastic on or my elastic together. Okay, it's not twisted even though it looks a little funky, but it's not twisted. So I'm going to go ahead and sew my elastic together. I like to overlap it like this and sew stitches on this side and then stitches on this side. That's what I like to do personally. So I'm going to go ahead and do that um, and then come back. Now that's sewn, I'm going to go ahead and tuck my elastic inside the casing. Okay, now with your waistband inside there, go ahead and close up that opening. And then if you are doing the children's version, you are all done. If you're doing the women's version, you should be all done. Unless you added a drawstring, then you'll need to feed that in there as well. Um, and then we'll have one more step for the men's version of sewing on, um, tacking down our waistband. So go ahead and close up that opening and then we'll come back. Okay, our casing should now be closed and you should have kind of moved your elastic and your fabric around. That way your fabric is pretty even. And then so now we are going to pin our elastic into our casing. Um, so I like to make sure those are nice and every, all the gathers are pretty even before I pin. And then I'll go ahead and pin um, in a few places. This will help when we are doing our stitches. Okay, so make sure you know which one, which is the back and the front, because you'll probably want to start and stop at the back. Um, and so essentially, what we're going to do is put our pants in the um, in our sewing machine, and we're going to sew two rows of stitches along our waistband. So we're going to have one row going one half inch from the top and then one half inch from the bottom. If you need to put a mark on your sewing machine, that way you have easy marking points of um, what to run it against, go ahead and do that on your machine. Um, but we're going to essentially pull the elastic taut so that there are no gathers in our in the casing and so I just do a straight stitch. Um, going down, going across, and then when I get to a pin, keep my needle inside of the fabric, and then again stretching it to the next pin and doing a straight stitch all the way across. That way we'll have little, nice little um, gathers um, along our, our waistband. Um, and then if you are doing the drawstring, you will then feed the drawstring in through after you have those um, 
those sewn. So go ahead and do that on your machine and then we will come back. After your top stitching is done, if you are adding a drawstring, you would enter you would feed that through through your little holes that you made that you would have made previously. Um, but if not, you are all set. If you um, have somebody the, that does not know the front from the back, you can do something like this. So you can clearly tell which way is the front, or you can add a little tag or something to indicate which way is the front or the back, especially for men. Um, they tend to not know what that is. So that's why that's there. But yeah, but that's it. If you have any questions, comment on this video, on the Facebook page. Um, but yeah, that is all for today. Stay tuned for tomorrow for we will be going over pet pajamas. To stay up to date on future videos, please subscribe to my channel. You can also view more on my blog at sewingandthings.com.